Today we really want to talk about the art of scoring and all the things that are really entailed in it from the details on the sticks all the way up to styles of play and where you are on the ice and where you find most of your goals. And him and I, I think we play a little different uh, when it comes to that, that type of shooting and things like that where he scores a lot more from the outside and I don't. I don't think I've scored outside of a 10 foot radius my whole career. But. Right. So for me, like I like the stiffer stick for quick and tight. I think I can get up quicker. I've actually seen a lot of goals from you a couple of feet away, and you're always right under the crossbar. That seems yeah. to be kind of yeah. your spot. If you're getting a hard rebound off the pads, you got a you got a little window of about a half a second where you got to get off right right there. You might have an open net, but it's got to be perfect. You want that consistency of you're going to hit that corner ten times out of ten. The game out there is so fast. There's the defenders are so good. The goalies are so good. So when you have that split second. You have to know that you're confident in your stick, you're confident in your flex, and when you do get that one scoring chance, you're going to put it where you want it. I try and use the one-timer a lot, no matter where I am. If I can get the puck off quick, and maybe in the second upper half of the net, yep. I have a real good chance of scoring, because goalies nowadays, if they get set and they have time to set, they're so big and good at blocking areas that right. it's hard to find holes. So yeah. I actually went from a, an 80 this year to an 85. So I went with a little stiffer shaft, which allowed me to get a harder one-timer. The reason I like the whip so much is I use the whip to lean on it and I get really quick hard snappers off. That's just how I shoot. As the players have been on the composite sticks longer, they're really now starting to give back good information to really help us out in future development. So it's just helping us make sticks better than we have ever before. With the development of the RS, we still are able to focus on the blade, the taper section, and the shaft and the challenge here is to get them all to work better and I think we did that with the S17 we got a little bit better on the S19 I think what you're seeing here with the RS Stealth is the best we've ever done. This stick is so good and when I'm holding it in a game and I'm handling a puck it feels like the walls of the stick are thin and I got a lot of feel through my puck and, and it's it's a light Easy stick for me to be explosive, quick and quick-handed. Right. I feel like this is the most perfect stick Mike has ever made me. 